subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Sumatran Orangutan. Hero, it's dinner time. Hi everyone, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Come on, Hero. It's time to eat. <coughs> That's strange. I left your food right here at this spot. Now it's gone. Lead the way, Hero. Let's find your dinner. You found it. Great. How did it end up here? Hey, someone touched the food. <gasps> What's that noise? It's a monkey, and it's so red and hairy. <laughs> I don't think you should eat Hero's food, monkey. That food is for dogs. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, red monkey. Hi, Katie. Did you find more about this ape? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is almost done. There it is. It's an orangutan. An orangutan? What a strange name. Orangutan means person of the forest. There are two types of orangutans, and the one you found is a Sumatran orangutan. It comes from the island of Sumatra in western Indonesia. The orangutan you found looks young. He must be looking for his mother. The female orangutans stay with their children for up to seven years. Let's find his mother. I'm sure she'll know what to feed him. Come and join us. Okay, Leo. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Everywhere. Look at all those stacks of logs. I don't see any orangutans here. Hey there, <gasps> Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! I see you have company. A baby orangutan. Yes, we're trying to find his mother. He's hungry. Do you know what orangutans eat, Ranger Rocky? Orangutans spend most of their time up in the trees. There, they mostly eat fruits, leaves, barks, flowers, and insects. You're right in trying to find his mother. We thought this was a forest, but when we got here, the trees are gone. Well, it was still part of the forest until the trees were cut down this morning. Why do people cut down trees? Trees are used to build houses and to make paper. Unfortunately, trees take time to regrow, and sometimes they don't grow back at all. When there are fewer forests, many of our wildlife animals will lose their homes. <gasps> like our orangutan? Correct. Orangutans have long and powerful arms, so they can swing from tree to tree in the forest. These red hairy animals spend most of their time above the ground. They even make nests out of leaves and branches on the trees. I see. In order to find his mother, we have to go deeper into the forest where there are still trees. That's right, Junior Rangers. Look out for trees with leafy branches and fruits. Good luck. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. <laughs> what is it, Hero? Hmm, I recognize that sound. It must be a tiger. A tiger? Hide behind this tree, everybody. Quick. That is a Sumatran tiger. It is one of Sumatran orangutan's main predators. Hello, Junior Rangers. 
I've called to warn you that a tiger has been spotted around the area. Ranger Rocky, we just saw the tiger, and now we're hiding behind a tree. Just keep calm and do not make a sound. If the tiger spots you, do not run. Stand upright and make loud noises. You cannot outrun a tiger, but you can try to look taller. But we're not tall at all. Oh no! It's coming closer. We have nowhere to hide. I have an idea. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Katie, hold my hat. Great work, Leo. You did it. Thanks, Katie. Oh, that was close. Let's make sure we don't go in that direction. We did it! We found his mother! Hooray! Yay! We found a young orangutan in our garden. We learned that young orangutans stay with their mothers until they are seven years old. So we went to the forest and brought him back to his mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan Taper. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to see what's inside this book? <coughs> it's filled with animals that can camouflage. Camouflage means the animal can hide in the environment because of its skin or fur. Look, here's a picture of an owl on a tree branch. Can you see it? And this tiger is really hard to see in the high grass. Camouflage helps animals hide from predators. But sometimes it helps the predator so it can sneak up on other animals. <coughs> hey, maybe there's an animal hiding in our garden right now. Let's try to find it. How strange. Could this be an animal? Hey, it is an animal. I wonder what animal this is. I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little one. Hi, Katie. So did you find out what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a baby Malayan taper, also known as an Asian taper. A Malayan taper? There are five different types of tapers, but Malayan tapers are the only tapers found in Asia. Why does the baby taper look so different from its mother? That's because the fur coat of the baby taper acts as camouflage and helps it blend in with the forest floor. It makes it hard for other animals to hunt them. When the Malayan taper gets older, its coat starts to fade and it will look just like its parents. I see. What about the food they eat? Malayan tapers feed on leaves, fruits, and plants. They use their long snouts as hands, which they use to pick their food. That sounds handy. Malayan tapers live in rainforests in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. It must be lost without its mother. And its camouflage doesn't work very well in our garden. We should bring it back home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the baby taper would love that. See you downstairs.
Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky. Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought along a very rare friend. Very rare? Very rare because there aren't many of them left. Malayan tapirs are an endangered species. That means they are animals that are in danger of disappearing forever. That's terrible. Why are they in danger of disappearing forever? They are endangered because more and more of their forests are cut down. And sometimes they are also hunted by humans. Oh no! Then we have to make sure we return this little one home to its mother. If you want to find the baby taper's mother, keep a lookout for riverbanks near a lot of trees and plants. Malayan tapers like to live near water, so they can bathe and swim, and the trees give them shade. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Come on, everyone. We're getting close. What was that? Did anyone hear that? Ah! Look how fast Baby Taper can run. Oh, no. The tiger is trying to catch the Baby Taper. Hero, be careful! Wait, they're coming back! Leo, use this! Good idea, Katie. Let's hope this works. Now! Now let's get the jeep here. The tiger didn't appear yet, so I think it worked. But what about Hero? Don't worry about Hero. His nose can lead him here. Quickly, let's go in the jeep. Oh, no. Something's coming. Hero! Hero! Good work, Hero. Now let's go. We did it. We found the baby taper's mother. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! a baby Malayan taper in our garden. We learned that the Malayan taper lives near riverbanks with lots of shade. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Indian star tortoise. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Let's play soccer, Hero. Get the ball. Hey, where could it be? I saw the ball going in this direction. Did you find it, Hero? Hey, that's not my football. It's hard and smooth. It looks like a turtle. What a pretty shell you have. I wonder what kind of turtle you are. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Mr. Turtle. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. This tortoise is an Indian star tortoise. That's a very suitable name for this animal. The Indian star tortoise comes from India, Sri Lanka, and parts of Pakistan. And, as you have noticed, the Indian star tortoise has star-like markings on its round shell. They look amazing, but what are those markings for? With the star-like markings on its shell, this tortoise can hide very well among grasses or plants. 
Their hard shells help to protect them, but they are still preyed upon by large birds and reptiles such as snakes. So Indian star tortoises have to hide themselves well from these sharp predators. Indian star tortoises normally live in dry scrub forests or grasslands. They can hide much better there. These places also provide the right kind of food for them, like grasses, flowers, and fallen fruit. Then we have to bring this Indian star tortoise back home, where it can hide and find the right food to eat. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the Scrub Forest. Ah, an Indian star tortoise. It's one of the prettiest tortoises I've ever seen, Ranger Rocky. Apart from its beauty, the Indian star tortoise is also gentle and shy. Unfortunately, the peaceful and nature beauty of Indian star tortoises are also the reasons why people like to keep them as pets. And in many countries, it is illegal to keep Indian star tortoises as pets. Illegal? You mean we're not allowed to keep them as pets? Correct, Leo. Though it's not allowed, there are still people who catch these tortoises and sell them around the world. Indian star tortoises get stressed and cold when they are taken away from their home and sent to other countries. Even if an Indian star tortoise survives the journey, its new home may not be suitable for it. Indian star tortoises do not like damp or cold places. They cannot breathe properly in such places. Poor tortoises! Your tortoise must have escaped from its owner and landed up in your garden somehow. You have to bring it back to a place that is dry and warm. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Come on, guys. Let's continue on foot. Look, Leo, there is a man over there. What is he doing? Hey, he picked up an Indian star tortoise. Why is he running? Maybe he's an illegal pet trader hunting for Indian star tortoises. So he might take the poor tortoise to another country and sell it. <coughs> Hero, wait for us. Wow, there are so many Indian star tortoises here. I hope they're all right. Don't worry, Leo. A tortoise will protect itself from getting hurt by hiding in its shell. Luckily, these tortoises are unharmed from the fall. Phew, let's put them back into the container carefully. Enjoy the sun and the grass, little ones. We did it. We found a home for the Indian star tortoises. Great work, everyone. Hooray! We found an Indian star tortoise in our garden. We learned that Indian star tortoises like to live in dry and warm places and that the star patterns on their shells help them hide in grass. So we found a nice home for the tortoise where it can enjoy the sunlight with other Indian star tortoises. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.